Hello and welcome to another session on geometry and we uh, discussed in the previous session that we are going to discuss triangles and we are going to deal with its properties. We have been dis dealing with triangles uh, all our life, you know, uh, you know, whether it is a sandwich bread or whether it is a snack or a pyramid or, you know, a, you know, symbol in the traffic. You, you deal with triangles every time. Yeah, it's very common geometric shape since childhood. We have been studying about it. Now is the time when we will be um, finding out a little bit more about it and learning its properties. Now, as the name suggests, triangles, the word can be broken down into two words, tri and angles. Angles you already studied in the previous sessions. So now, how do we define triangles then? So triangles are nothing but polygons. First of all, polygons, the most elementary polygon you can, you know, imagine a polygon. What is a polygon? Poly means many, gone means side. So, you know, hexagon, heptagon, decagon, triangle, square, quadrilateral, all these are polygons, right? So, a, you know, a closed figure. So, what is polygon? Poly polygon is a closed plane figure. Okay, planar figure, right? That means the figure must be drawn on a plane. That is, for example, while you are doing it on a piece of paper on your notebook, so it must be the entire shape should be on the plane, on the same plane, right? So you will be asking, can there be any other geometric shape which is not totally into one plane? Yes, a sphere, a cuboid. You cannot imagine a cuboid over a plane, right? So a polygon, what is a polygon? Polygon is a closed planar figure. And depending on the number of sides, we have, first of all, triangles, then quadrilaterals, then pentagon, then hexagon, and things like that. So triangle is a polygon, right? And polygon with three sides, with three sides, right? So the minimum si number of sides to frame a polygon is three. So you can't have a polygon with two sides, right? So these two sides, you know, so we basically you can't close, you can have a, you can't have a closed figure using a, using only two lines right so hence that's the constraint that's the constraint with two lines isn't it so you can however have uh, three lines right three lines joined together to make a polygon correct right so this is what is a polygon right and this is actually a triangle now you can imagine, you know, a polygon with four sides. This is a quadrilateral. Then you can have pentagon. Okay, so you can have pentagon also. So pentagon will be five sides. Correct. So this is pentagon. Right. So likewise, you can have hexagon with six sides. So this is pentagon. Sorry. So with six sides you can have hexagon like that so you can have any number of um, you know or different types of polygon with any number of sides but the side minimum number is three so we are going to study the first elementary polygon that is the triangles right so that's what is the scope of this series let me just remove them yeah so what did we learn triangle polygon a closed plane figure with three sides Okay, that's good enough definition. So what all characteristics or, you know, let's say uh, parts of triangle are and how do we name them? So we use English alphabet letters to name them. So for example, this triangle can be named as triangle. We make this Greek letter delta sign. Okay, delta. Delta is for triangle. So delta looks like a triangle, isn't it? So what is a delta basically? Delta is nothing but a geographic feature, the mouth of the river when it meets the ocean or the sea, right? So the water actually gets distributed and the top view looks like a triangle. So delta, right? So hence Greek letter delta and then we write the three letters A, B, C like that. 
So this is the triangle ABC. Triangle. So name of triangle becomes triangle ABC. Okay. Now A, B, and C. These are called vertices. Vertices is plural of vertex. Vertex. Okay, so A, B, C are vertices. Then A, B, B, C, and C, A are sides slash edges. Right? So either they are slides or edges of triangle A, B, C. Right? And then we have three angles. This one, this one, and this one. So we have angle A, B, C. Then angle B, C, A. And then angle C, A, B. These are three angles. So we see this is what are the, let's say, feature of a triangle. Many a times we also name or name them using some numerals like that. So you can say angle one, angle two, angle three. Okay. Now anything inside the bound figure this is called interior interior of the triangle right so if you see this is called interior and everything outside obviously will become this side this side this side this is called exterior of the triangle exterior of the triangle isn't it so what did we learn we learned that um in triangle what is a triangle triangle is a polygon so closed planar figure closed means you know uh, it has boundary so it divides the plane into two parts or rather three parts the triangle itself can be another part so interior exterior and the triangle itself then it is bound by three sides and it is denoted by a delta symbol and followed by the three uh, letters a b c there is no need to follow one particular order in naming so the same triangle triangle a b c is as good as this is same triangle B C A. So you can have in any order the naming. You can name the triangle in any order and then A C A B. Right? In any order you can name it. No problem. Right? Now.